Why are medical experts now saying that artificial sweeteners may end up making you gain weight? It's definitely ironic, because scientific research now proves that regularly consuming these substances, which are meant to help you shed those extra pounds, can have the opposite effect. What are the four big reasons why sugar substitutes have the ability to worsen your blood sugar, your heart health, and your weight management? Why do the results of recent testing on fruit flies spell bad news for you if you overconsume fake sugar? You need to know how food corporations are tricking your taste buds and your brain. And let's learn why that can be so dangerous for the rest of your body. Expert cardiologists and other medical experts have come forward to expose the truth of fake sugar. These are the four main ways sugar substitutes lead to weight gain and insulin resistance. Did you realize that the scientific community has been studying artificial sweeteners for well over 100 years? In fact, chemist Konstantin Falberg discovered the world's first commercially produced artificial sweetening agent, that being saccharin, all the way back in 1878. Since then, hordes of nutritional, medical, and chemical experts have argued amongst themselves and with government health agencies all across the globe in an attempt to settle the real truth about fake sugar and if it is really beneficial or potentially harmful to the human body. Still, when it comes to consuming fake sugar, the jury is still out. So, what do medical experts now say about sugar substitutes and their risk of causing weight gain? We'll show you the results of the scientific community's most recent research later in this video. But here's a bit of a spoiler. In an article published in the journal JAMA Pediatrics, Dr. James Krieger and his colleagues noted, the growing presence of non-sugar sweeteners in the food supply, combined with mounting concerns about their use, suggest that caution in adding them to foods and beverages is needed. So what are the main reasons why fake sugar may make you fatter? First, it can lead to increased sugar cravings. Did you know artificial sugar is actually far sweeter in taste than real sugar? In fact, some types of fake sugar have been reported to be several hundred times sweeter to human taste buds than table sugar. Which brand name sweeteners are the most sweet? Stay tuned to the end of this video to learn the answer. But in general, it's important to understand that regularly consuming this extra sweetness can desensitize your taste buds and mess with your brain chemistry potentially making you desire more sweet foods while also making naturally sweet foods seem less desirable. By mimicking the taste of real sugar, fake sugar activates the brain's reward system, but without providing the same caloric satisfaction as you receive from naturally sweet foods. This is almost a form of addiction, causing your brain to crave highly sweet foods to achieve an expected energy boost. Plus, artificial sweeteners can mess with how your digestive system processes your glucose, potentially creating blood sugar fluctuations, which can then cause sweet cravings and increased hunger. We'll discuss this side effect in more depth in just a moment, but here's an important question. What is the absolute worst type of artificial sweetener for your body? The answer may surprise you. First, let's look at another hidden and shocking side effect of eating too much fake sugar. It may secretly lead to increased eating. As we just mentioned, artificial sugar intake is associated with increased sugar cravings, which naturally, or rather unnaturally, is linked to increased eating in general. But how can eating make you more hungry? Well, Studies show that there is a psychological factor involved in eating sugar substitutes, as it can lead you to believe that you've just saved yourself from consuming a lot of calories and are therefore free to splurge on other foods. Plus, a study from Purdue University suggested that artificial sweeteners may disrupt certain mechanisms for energy regulation. In essence, they can obstruct the human body's ability to count calories. This illusion of calories can confuse your body into thinking it still requires further energy, potentially leading you to increase your overall food intake. 
this study concluded that the rise of popularity of artificial sweeteners could explain why increasing numbers of Americans struggle with food intake regulation and body weight. A separate investigation utilizing MRI scans on the brains of five male participants showed that when they consumed real sugar, it decreased signaling in their hypothalamus, the part of the brain that regulates appetite. However, when those men consumed the artificial sweetener aspartame, it did not produce this same response. That suggests that this lack of calories can prevent the activation of your body's food reward pathway, essentially making you feel more hungry right after eating foods with fake sugar. In fact, research published in the journal Cell Metabolism used fruit flies to show that artificial sweeteners can trick the brain into a starvation state. After a test group of fruit flies were fed a synthetic sweetener diet for five days, they consumed 30% more calories than the control group fruit flies that were fed a regular sugar diet. However, when the artificial sugar was removed from their diets, the calorie consumption of the test group flies returned to normal levels, strongly suggesting that regularly consuming fake sugar can increase feelings of hunger. Plus, artificial sugar interferes with your gut microbiome. How does fake sugar lead to certain metabolic changes from your gut to your brain in ways that influence how much you eat? That actually leads us to our next topic. But real quick, please help us out by hitting the like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more diabetes fighting, hunger busting tips and tricks. Also, we'd love to hear from you. So tell us how you feel about artificial sugar by commenting below. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your support. So here's an important question. What is the worst type of artificial sweetener? And what do the most recent studies prove when it comes to fake sugar and real weight gain? Stay tuned to learn the truth. First, let's get back to your digestive system because fake sugar can also lead to an altered gut microbiome. This isn't the stuff of science fiction or fantasy. In fact, a study published in Frontiers in Nutrition titled The Impact of Artificial Sweeteners on Body Weight Control and Glucose Homeostasis showed that artificial sweeteners can impact body weight and blood sugar regulation much differently than natural sugar. The study found that artificial sugar creates physiological changes for gut microbiota in ways which affect insulin secretion, intestinal glucose absorption, and insulin resistance. Essentially, high intake of these chemicals can create an imbalance between your colonies of beneficial gut bacteria and your colonies of less welcome bacteria, the kind of bacteria that feeds on and craves sweet substances. Plus, studies show that artificial sweeteners can interfere with the gut-brain axis. That may alter your body's ability to regulate your hunger and feelings of fullness. So these changes in your gut can add up to increased eating and heightened sugar cravings. Do you know how much sweeter saccharin is than normal table sugar? The answer is just ahead. But now, you may be wondering, what is the main way that fake sugar can deal real damage to diabetics. Well, while sugar substitutes can help you avoid a glucose spike, they can still lead to an altered insulin response. Results of multiple studies suggest that those who consume higher levels of artificial sweeteners experience higher levels of insulin resistance compared to those who consume little or no artificial sugar. This can be directly linked to the fact that artificial sugars are actually far sweeter to your taste buds than real sugar. When your brain senses something sweet coming down the pipe, so to speak, it can stimulate the secretion of insulin from your pancreas into your bloodstream. You can even have a cephalic phase insulin release before your lips ever meet this food, meaning that simply smelling or anticipating eating some fake sugar foods can trigger the release of insulin. Once insulin is in your bloodstream, it is meant to move the glucose from your food you just ate into your muscle cells as a source of fuel. But of course, as there is no true glucose in fake sugar, 
your insulin will be left unused and floating freely through your system. Over time, excess insulin in your bloodstream can do loads of damage to your nervous system, your digestion, your arterial health, and your insulin sensitivity, thus heightening the risk of weight gain, cardiovascular issues, and diabetes. So, which brands of fake sugar are the most overly sweet? Aspartame is said to be 200 times sweeter than table sugar. While stevia is more natural than other artificial sweeteners, it is still 250 to 300 times sweeter than regular sugar. Saccharin has been reported to be 200 to 700 times sweeter than normal sugar, and by some estimates, the new sweetener Neotame may be up to 7,000 times sweeter than real sugar. So it's no wonder why fake sugar can cause real havoc inside your body. But what is the worst type of artificial sweetener to regularly consume? It's not exactly a specific brand of sweetener, but more the type of artificially sweetened food. In this case, it's a drink. Any beverage that contains fake sugar has been flagged by scientists as the worst type of artificial sustenance for your body. In fact, a recent meta-analysis of over 50 studies found that artificial sweeteners used in beverages can increase your risk of hypertension or high blood pressure. A study from the European Journal of Endocrinology found that regular consumption of artificially sweetened drinks can increase the risk of LADA, or latent autoimmune diabetes of adults. The Mayo Clinic claims that regularly consuming artificially sweetened drinks can heighten your risk of cardiovascular disease. And one study even found that a high intake of diet soft drinks can lead to a 121% increase in your risk of diabetes. In the end, studies now show that regular consumption of most any type of fake sweetener does not only have the ability to make you fatter, it can raise your risk of developing an entire range of health issues, from diabetes to certain forms of cancer and to heart disease. A recent study published in the journal Nature Medicine even found that erythritol, a common sugar alcohol used in some sweetener brands, may increase the risk of stroke, and participants with the highest amounts of erythritol in their blood doubled their risk of stroke, blood clots, and premature death. On the flip side, studies have proven that quitting any type of added sugar, be it real sugar or fake sugar, can absolutely work to improve your weight and your blood sugar control. Incredibly, a study from Kaiser Permanente showed that 95% of participants who completely removed all added sugars and artificial sweeteners from their diet for two weeks reported that sweet foods and drinks suddenly tasted sweeter or even too sweet. The study further showed that a large percentage of participants stopped craving sugar after just six days, and many participants lost weight. And in a recent interview published by the University of Washington, Dr. James Krieger summed it all up. The World Health Organization recommended that non-sugar substitutes not be used to achieve weight control or reduce the risk of non-communicable diseases, which means chronic diseases like diabetes or heart disease. That created quite a stir. Many public health officials and advocates said that this is a great and long overdue statement. Therefore, we suggest that you follow the World Health Organization's advice and avoid regular consumption of artificial sweeteners.